afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So, Supercars on State Street is next weekend, uh, the 23rd. So, we decided that the deceiving wagon doesn't get enough credit sometimes, uh, and people just walk right by it, because it's just a slow grocery getter. So, as you can see, we are missing a wheel. It will shortly be missing all of the wheels. But in the meantime, the wheel's over here. So we're going to do something that may be very controversial, and people may not like it, but I don't care. We turned my graphite gray wheels black with plastic tip. Yep. I figure the black will really get a lot more attention than the graphite gray from the factory. No, that's not what we're doing. We're using black because it's the cheapest color of plastic dip to put layers of plastic dip on. So it pulls off easier in the removal process. But that is definitely not the color that these wheels are going to be when I'm done. Like I said, some people may hate it. I may hate it. I don't know. I've never seen it before. But I think that's why I'm going to do it. So, we're going to plastic dip all the wheels black with three coats. Maybe four, because the more you have, the easier it comes off. And then we'll put a final top coat or two on of the color that these wheels are going to become. Probably I'll put that in another video because I don't want to ruin the surprise. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to get the plastic dipping. And I uh, already got one coat on here. Came out pretty nice. Laid out real nice and smooth, actually. That actually looks uh, looks really good. Uh, I've done I've plastic dipped my Escalade wheels and other wheels before, so not my first time doing it. So I've gotten uh, gotten better at it over the years. But uh, yeah. We're going to see how this turns out. I've never done uh, never done quite the color I'm doing, so it uh, should be interesting. But uh, anyways, we're going to get to this. We'll show you a little bit of uh, how to do this, and then uh, we'll uh, put them back on the car and see what it looks like. It may come off before the show. It may not even make it to the show in that color because it may look hideous. But there's only one way to find out, so here we go. So we've got the second coat all on, a uh, little bit thicker coat this time. Uh, should probably be able to get away with just one more coat, but uh, came out looking real nice. So yeah, once that dries, we'll put a, a third coat on there. Then we'll go for the color and uh, see what that looks like. But uh, Definitely is going to change the look of this car, for sure. For sure going to change the look of this car. Hmm. Anyways, we'll uh, get back to everyone when we've got some color on these wheels. And, uh... Hopefully I like it. That's why we're only doing one at the moment, because if it comes out terrible looking, I don't want to have to peel plastic dip back off of uh, four wheels. So, see how it turns out, and uh, we'll let everyone know. All right. So I've actually got all four coats on the wheel, and uh, man, 
if I was trying to make my wheels uh, flat black, I certainly accomplished that because, boy, they really turned out nice uh, looking. Uh, it really leveled out real nice for plastic dip. I've seen uh, I've seen guys paint wheels or have them powder coated and they were rougher looking than this. So yeah, kind of hate to do what I'm about to do because uh, I might screw this all up. But, uh, huh. Yeah. It's interesting looking, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that should be, uh, certainly bright, don't you think? Yeah. Hey. Got to do something to stand out in a crowd of uh, normalness, you know, with the 800 horsepower wagon. You know, they're pretty normal. You see those all day long, so why not? But uh, it's going to stay on for a couple of months anyways. Uh, got a road rally the end of October I'm going to and some other shows. So something to make it look a little different, you know. I was out driving around today getting a lot of compliments on it. And uh, so we'll see how people like it when uh, the wheels are bright green. So anyways, here we go. Oh man, there's no turning back now. We just put a light dusting on it like that, we can get John Deere green. everybody so I finally got done uh, plastic dipping that wheel uh, lime green I guess you could call it it did not come out as uh, as good as I wanted at all so we scrapped the whole idea and pulled it back off and as you can see no harm no foul yeah got a little bit of green down here yet <clears throat> but uh, it came uh, it came off easy enough the real problem I think with it was I used black as a base color and it just uh what am i trying to say it, it it wouldn't it was fading through uh the green was just too light of a color uh when you had a back a black base so the real problem i guess was uh it just wouldn't lay on just wouldn't lay on smoothly enough for the finish i was looking for so I scrapped the whole thing. It would have taken way too many cans. It would have gotten way too expensive. So um, I didn't really care for the look either with having the yellow calipers. So I'll probably have to do something about that as well. So between uh, a couple different uh, scenarios there, just 
in my mind it seemed like a great idea. Uh, I was trying to get it done for the uh, supercars on State Street show and for a rally I have coming up at the end of the month. But uh, just didn't uh, really uh, turn out the way I was hoping, so it's plastic dip. It was easy enough to pull it back off and try again later with uh, either another color or try and use a white base the next time, spray that on, and then the green over top. So we'll see how that turns out. But uh, Supercars on State Street was uh, a great show. Took the car, uh, had a lot of fun at that. So be sure to like and subscribe to this video to see that video coming up in the very near future. And uh, take it easy, everyone, and remember, keep it deceiving.